Hi, this is another video on BASIC for Android. Someone asked me in the comments a little while ago uh, how to do two activities or two screens in your application. I've put together the most simple example of this uh, just to stop any confusion with anything else and I'll basically talk you through it. So you have your normal BASIC for Android screen here with your normal functions and I've loaded a layout and I'll just show you my layouts quickly in the designer so if I pick layout 1 I've got a label and a button and if I show you this running in the emulator uh, if I go to the designer okay so we've got screen 1 showing there and then I've got a second layout so I went to new in the designer and made a second layout so I now have two layouts 1 and 2 so looking at the code for this your main your main module which opens in the activity create section load your layout as normal specify the name of lay layout just like you normally would and then on the bottom one click event I've used the command start activity second which means it will start this module here this second module I've added the module by going to tools or even project add new module activity module that will add a second bar a second box at the top here which will look very much like your first screen it will have all the same functions because in effect an activity is, is a, an Android program so if you have two screens using two activities then each of those can function as their own little program so the first button on the first screen simply does start activity second which basically means it will start this second activity as if it's a program on its own. So again, this will go to Activity Create and go to Load Layout and a specified layout two. And then when it, when you click the button on the second layout screen, it will call Activity Finish to close this activity, which will put you back onto Activity One. So if I run this, you'll see this compile and install on the emulator you'll see this working so it's installed so we have screen one open second screen so I'll click on that that's now open a second activity with screen two so clicking on the button will close this activity and puts us back on screen one and again clicking on that will go to screen two what I could do is use the back button on the emulator which will back out to screen one because the back button will close whichever activity is open on your um, on your Android application at the time. That's the default behavior of of the back button. Clicking back again obviously exits it completely. This is now actually the designer um, that it's gone on to. And if I go back out again, well, the designer has overridden the back feature to give me a menu instead. So that's how you can do two activities from basic for android uh, i do use this in a application i uploaded a little while ago called romance reminder which is a simple application for just keeping lists um, of things your partner likes and doesn't like so if i just quickly open that project i'll show you so I have my romance reminder project and here i have my main activity I have important dates, likes and dislikes. So if I run this application, and if anyone wants the source code for this application, I'm happy to provide it to you, it's no problem. You'll see this running. So I have my main menu screen. If I click on important dates, that will open the imp dates module here which runs this code and then if I go back to my main menu that uses the activity finish function and again I've got other screens I can flick onto and back from then I've simply put a quit button which does just that just to quit the application so that's using the exit application which closes that activity as well as any other activities currently running as part of this application. Okay, remember you can buy 
basic for android via my site which is www.easyandroidcoding.com and you'll receive a 30% discount when you buy it through the Plymouth links and until next time I'll see you then